My name is Gita Jensen and I'm the research director at NIS Labs. I would like to talk about a clinical trial we have completed where we studied the effect on blood pressure of NSKSD, an enzyme from fermented soybeans produced by Japan Bioscience Laboratories of Osaka, Japan. In Japan, a traditional food is made by fermenting soybeans with a bacterium called Bacillus subtilis natto. The resulting food is called natto and is consumed by many Japanese on a daily basis. Natto contains an enzyme produced by the fermentation called natto kinase. The enzyme is fibrinolytic, which means that it helps break down blood clots. Asian studies have shown that when people with high blood pressure consume this enzyme over eight weeks, a normalization of blood pressure was seen. However, no previous studies had been done in a non-Asian study population. Therefore, we conducted our trial in a North American population with its associated diet and lifestyle. We used a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled parallel arm clinical study design. None of the subjects had consumed NATO before. All subjects enrolled had elevated blood pressure, either systolic blood pressure above 130 or diastolic blood pressure above 90 millimeter mercury. In order for subjects to qualify for the study, they had to have elevated blood pressure readings on three different screening visits. We showed that the consumption of 100 mg NSKSD for eight weeks was associated with a reduction of both systolic and diastolic blood pressure. The reduction in diastolic blood pressure was statistically significant. An important factor in controlling the relationship between blood pressure and sodium levels is the renin angiotensin system. We saw an association between NSKSD consumption and normalization of plasma renin activity. We also measured von Willebrand factor. This marker is a mediator of platelet adhesion. It's released by damaged blood vessel walls and increases risk of formation of blood clots. We observed a gender-specific decrease in von Willebrand factor in women consuming NSKSD. This is important since there is an association between elevated von Willebrand factor and the risk for stroke. And we conclude that consumption of NSKSD can help hypertensive men and women normalize their blood pressure. An underlying mechanism seemed to involve normalization of plasma renin activity, and in addition, a decrease in von Willebrand factor seen in women consuming NSKSD may help reduce the risk for cardiovascular events, including stroke. <laughs>